All right, Sockmaster fans, suggested by Tanya, one of my all-time favorites. It's time for Mother's Day. Let's check it out. They're at some sort of self-help seminar. Now they were planning to rip her off, but she pretended the car was broke down and pulled over, and then all of a sudden this happens. She's turned the tables on them. The two attackers are her sons. Starts out in 1970. Three girls are in college and they're looking at slides they took. Ten years later, they're having a reunion. They're going camping. But they're going. You get what you deserve in them deep bonds, the lesbian. You won't be causing no one, no trouble, no more. Welcome to our weekend. Oh, Jackie, it's perfect. So while the girls are frolicking the water, skinny dipping, turns out. A couple of guys are spying on them. And those two guys later on that night attack them while they're in their sleeping bags and kidnap them. These are obviously the two guys we saw kill those a couple in the beginning. So the boys take their new toys upstairs and tie them up. <laughs> Under the watchful eye of mom. Then they go outside and play these weird games where they have a drama. Let me go. Let my friends go. I don't know what you want. And their victims are unwilling participants in it. Why don't you get the Kodak? So Ike gets the camera and takes pictures of his brother assaulting Jackie. Now you just do as I say. Queenie's out there. Queenie's her alleged sister who's been living as a wild woman in the woods for decades. Breakfast time. What happened to you, girlfriend? Uh, I'm feeling so good this morning, but I don't think it's become a job. Uh uh. <laughs> After breakfast, Ma puts them through an exercise routine. While all that's going on outside, the girls manage to, uh, free themselves and are trying to escape by shimming down in a sleeping bag. It, it worked, but poor Abby ripped her hand open trying to hold that rope. They search the boys' room looking for Jackie and instead find that couple from the beginning.
They do end up finding her, though. The boys actually were cleaning up after themselves and put their toy away. It's Jackie. Oh she's God. alive, but she's been better. As they work their way downstairs and try to get out of there, here comes Ike. leaving because Mama's screaming. She says she got uh, attacked by Queenie. The boys don't even believe Queenie exists. So while Ike and Abby are dealing with Ma, the girls manage to escape. Trina runs off to get help and she finds a cop but it's not a cop. It's actually Ike in disguise. He manages to get away again. Throws a rock to uh, trick him. And down a little cliff he goes. And Trina turns and goes back to Abby and they find that Jackie's passed. a respectful life. And this is the thanks I get. Okay, get out there and have fun with your brother I Don't worry about me being here with nobody around. The girls decide to take revenge on Ike and Adley and Ma. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> one down, one to go. Ike starts to choke Trina. Abby goes and gets the Drano. It doesn't kill him, at least not quite yet. His TV might do it though. But even that doesn't completely kill Ike. But this electric carbon knife has got to do it. That leaves one person left. Who me? Who me? I'm a Satan woman! Don't hurt me! I'm a... I'm a Satan woman! Let me go! Don't hurt me! Let's grab the inflatable boobs. Suffocator. Death by inflatable tits. We were strong, both of us. And don't ever forget it. This is the end of our film. But wait! It's Queenie! Let's talk about Mother's Day. This is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. I saw this on cable back in 1982. I think it was 82 or 83. 82 or 83. It premiered, um, like, it was on one month. It may have been May, actually. It, it showed that month a couple of times, and it never came back again, at least not uh, while I was a kid and watching cable and stuff. Um, but I never forgot it. I watched it late one night, and it just blew my mind, especially the scene with the... Uh, with uh, Adley getting the axe and the crotch, and wow, I was just really impressed by this movie. And then uh, a few years later, once I uh, got a VCR, and um, eventually one of my local video stores, City News and Video in Manitowoc, actually, Manitowoc, Wisconsin, um, got the movie, so I rented it, copied it, and loved it, <laughs> as usual. Um, I've seen it many, many times over the years, uh, my wife and kids have seen this movie too. We all kind of make fun of it. Ike and Natalie, the punk sucks, disco stupid. I'm gonna go get the Kodak, get the Kodak. 
just very um, very memorable film. Just the gore is good. Everything's good about this movie. I love it. Very glad it came out on Blu-ray too. I had the DVD. I had the pre-recorded VHS. I think I had the pre-recorded beta tape for this too. Just like I said, one of my favorites. I um, reviewed this on my old channel, and now I needed to redo it on my old on my new channel. And uh, Tanya recommended it recently, so it's time, right? So I actually watched this last Mother's Day. Uh, parents were up. My mother was up, and um, while thing people were milling about, I threw Mother's Day on because it was traditional, right? So. Anyway, um, it's a basic horror movie here put out by Troma. Um, three girls go out in the woods camping. They get uh, kidnapped by these two uh, idiot boys, uh, Ike and Adley, and their maniacal mother. Uh, they rape them, torture them. Two of the girls get away. or Actually, they, all three of them got away, but one of them died from her wounds and stuff. Uh, and then the two girls who are left living come back and take revenge against the, the boys and the mom and kill them all. At the end, we're kind of left with an open thing there. Queenie, uh, the alleged uh, sister of the, the old lady, jumps out at them at the end and then opens the door for a sequel, which has not happened. Although I think they did remake this movie a few years ago. I haven't seen it. Um, I, I don't think it got great reviews. and I, I, I don't know. I, I, how do you mess with an original classic like this? Anyway, uh, two of the girls never acted in anything else again. Uh, the mother had did a few things here and there. Um, Ike and Allie, uh, actually Ike uh, went on to, he had a pretty long career, he died uh, a few years ago. Um, Adley's done some other stuff too, not a lot, mostly like Broadway stuff. But anyway, great, great, great movie. Uh, there's audio commentary on this Blu-ray. The DVD actually has audio commentary too, it's probably a carryover from that. So anyway, one of my favorite all-time movies, I love it. It's a horror movie and it's one of the better ones, I think. Let me know what you think about it, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Leave some comments down below and we'll talk about it. It's called Mother's Day. Watch it. Bye. And we'll get to Kodak.